back, fellow collectors, to Bray's Toy Review. I am your host, Brave, and today we are taking a look at the 3A Tomorrow Queens hoaxer. Hoaxer, yeah. So, um, I'm a 3A fanatic. Uh, I love the 3A stuff, uh, especially Tomorrow Kings and Tomorrow Queens. Um, shout out to uh, Andy and G who got this to me. He is the dude. Check him out. And also check out... Um, the 3A Legion um, group on Facebook. For all of your 3A fan uh, communications, check go check check it out. If you're a 3A fan, you love 3A stuff, check out the uh, unofficial 3A Legion uh, group. There are a few 3A groups on uh, Facebook, but the, uh, the Legion just happens to be my favorite, okay? Now, as always, um, when it comes to 3A stuff, it's not just the figure inside, it's the packaging, it's the everything. OK, so on, on one side, you get a Tomorrow Queens uh, symbol, the 3A symbol there. Uh, I love the way this is kind of like uh, the effect of it just being taped on or whatever with all the, 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 the apparent wear, you know, kind of an old feel. I really love and dig Ashley Wood's art style. Um, it's really min minimalist. Um, you heard me say that a number of times. I'll repeat it just so you know how I feel about it. Now, there were a, a number of uh, TQs that came out. Um, along the same style line, and this was the uh, special one that you wanted to get. More T Remy TQ. If you remember my um, a Remy uh, review, you remember that uh, group of TQs that came out. And that's just another um, capturing of, or the continued capturing of the artwork from this figure. So um, let's go ahead and open it up there. She comes with a smaller scale poster. I think typically we get larger posters with these guys. Um, they're, they're, just, they're typically, just, typically just a little bit larger than this. This is a smaller scale poster. I'm not sure why um, it's smaller than the other ones, but it's just basically the uh, artwork again from the, from the uh, box art. Okay, now we're going to stand this up because this gets kind of tall. So these are 12 inch figures. Uh, they do 3A does have a six inch line as well as the eight inch line, which is their 3A go. The uh, six inch stuff is the uh, action portable, but this again is a, the uh, 12 inch, which is what I, I favor from all of their creations, all of their uh, lines or whatever the case is. And this is her um, in packaging. Uh, she, this, sometimes they come in clamshells. Other times they'll come like just in a flat board, flat backboard with them uh, t uh, strapped down by the little... Uh, the little twisty ties there. So let's take a look at uh, some of the accessories she come with. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to point something out. Um, she comes with a, a good number of grenades here. It looks like about six. Um, this particular grenade came with uh, this piece uh, kind of knocked out of place. Um, just pops right back in, so that's not really a big deal. I'll probably put some kind of... Um, kind of... Uh, uh, fingernail polish or something like that, a clear coat or something on it, just to give it a little more stick. That's the first time I've ever gotten that or had that happen with any of my grenade sets from 3A. It does have like a cool real pin there. That's pretty dope. And then the detail work um, on it is really nice. The weathering is always fulfilling with um, 3A figures. I actually would make sure that happens. So that's pretty good. Um, if you're new to 3A collecting, or if you've been in 3A collecting, let, let, let me say let me say this. If you're new to 3A collecting, these are the ankle and wrist pegs. These are gold. As anyone who collects 3A knows, these are gold. Especially when it comes to the uh, to the TQ and the female figures, they, you gotta keep them, get them, get as many as you can. Cause trust me. They do pop, they do snap. You will need them taken off, feet taken off, hands. You will need to replace them at some point. There are um, 12 inch scale websites you can go on to get them, um, but there are many different styles, many different sizes, and they may not always fit your 3A figures. So, anytime you can get your hands on these, make sure you get your hands on them and keep them, cherish them, treat them like the crack that you know they are. Uh, she comes with, in typical TQ fashion, two swords i love the color scheme on these with the black and the white and then more of the black here which is more of a gunmetal actually and then it has the weathering there um there's white there on the hilt is on, on the on the handle there um a little bit of masking error there at the base of it but it's okay when it comes to 3a i'm kind of like a um hasbro uh fanboy collector fan type guy whereas i let a lot of shit slide 
I'm not even gonna bull crap you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I let some shit slide. Unless, as long as it's not too terrible, too in your face, I'll let it slide because I, I love 3A. And and I've said it many times. I'll say it again. You're either going to love 3A or you're going to hate 3A. If you love 3A, you will criticize them and critique them for their uh, mistakes and their uh, just outright. Um, problems and errors but you'll give them the pass because you know how it is it's a slippery slope right and then she has uh her she comes with two of these one of them is already in the uh in the uh in the weapon holster i'll show you that in a minute um the detail work on this is nice it's fairly nice got some nice uh what is it like a uh I don't know the color, but color blind, whatever the color is. It's, it's like a green, but it's not like a regular green. It's that green from like elementary school. I remember being like elementary school and daycare and um, the, you're there and they have like this, this, it's a feeling. It's what it is. It's a feeling of kids, small kids walking around miserable, pissing in their pants and doodling in their pants and, and just being really rude, being musty, picking their boogers and eating them. That's that color. That's what that color is. Yeah. I love the, um, I love the weathering of it. You got a nice, you got, I don't know. Just take, just take a look at it. Just take a minute. Feel it. Feel it. Feel this. This, this is art. It's meant to be felt. Look at that wear. Can you hear my dogs in the background barking for no damn reason? Yes. I dig that. So, that is that. Let's get on to that figure, baby. So, starting from the floor up. One of the issues that I have with the figure that I have with a lot of the TQ releases, especially the more recent ones, whereas the costume design is great. The costume design is epic, as a matter of fact. The problem that I have, uh, and this is an existing problem with 3A, uh, is they like to use a lot. They like to reuse a lot of parts. OK, so when it comes to um, when it comes to the feet, I just think with. I think that with the TQs, especially a TQ that's like a has a rougher um, uh, aesthetic like this one, I think that the whole heel thing is trying to put that to rest. And they typically, this has been a, a thing they've done with TQs in the past, and it continues to, and it continues to go on. T TQ stands for Tomorrow Queen. If you've never heard the term before, you're not familiar. Okay. So in the beginning, the TQs were more fashionable. Uh, they had like they were like leather clad. They were like you know like dominatrixes and stuff like that mixed with ninjas. And, and so it was a pretty cool like clash to have the heel on with a leather outfit and then be a uh, badass kick ass uh, tomorrow queen ninja. Now, but when you get to a point where you're doing designs like this, I think it's time to let the heel go, man. And a more rugged boot. It would, would have been better. There are a few choices you could go with that would have been better than this. And they did this on a Remy as well. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that. Now, having said that, the heel looks fantastic. The shoe looks fantastic. The detail work is definitely there. And it always is with uh, 3 8 The weathering, the uh, just the, the seam, the, the sculpted in seams, the string work, the every, everything is there. It, it's a fantabulous design. Look at that. Even the... Um, even the soles of the, of the shoe looks great. I just wish they would leave that whole heel sneaker alone and, and move into something different. Um, the pant design is pretty cool. I, I love the I love the way the colors are, are, are brought out with the dirt and grime, the painted in dirt and grime that makes it like it's just a, a, a weathered pant like she's been in battle with elongated straps here. This is really cool and it's and it's something different than we've seen in most of the designs here in the past. This is really cool going through here with the strap and everything. And and again with 3A, all straps work. All straps work, all pockets work. So that's pretty cool. You can lift that up and you can get inside of that pocket if you so choose to. Moving up the figure. She's got an ass load of um, pouches and stuff. Like So here again, held down by Velcro is the other weapon, uh, the other um, the other pistol, uh, similar to the first. It's the same thing. Now, you, if you take a look at it, you'll see that the weathering is slightly different on this one. And I, I can't, I don't want to lie to you, but I have reason to believe that they're all hand, uh, hand weathered individually. Which is why you have a good variation in all of them, which is which makes sense because it gives each uh, each figure its own character. Each each um, each uh, accessory has its own character based off of that. So that's pretty cool. The weapons do fit in her hand um, r rather well. She holds them uh, pretty good. Uh, the problem here with this figure, and it's another error that will uh, a QC issue that I will point out um, here in the uh, 
here in the uh, bicep swivel on this one, it's just a little bit loose. So she can't, you see what I'm saying? It kind of just flops down. That's that's a problem. Um, on this one, this arm, actually, when I got this figure, because um, I had already opened it, obviously, prior to doing the review, the arm was like this. Um, so it was... I don't know if that's if you, it, it's there, the tabs. There are no tabs there. It's not there's not a pin system there. Um, they're just like little there's little tabs in there, and those tabs are were broken off um, inside of the uh, forearm uh, slot there. So that's an issue. Uh, it, it, it's easily remedied with um, possibly some uh, clear coat something like that. It just shouldn't have to be done. Um, that that's the issue you face when you get a figure and when they pack the figure and they don't use the clamshell and instead use the uh, zip ties I, I would hope they don't they, they would stop doing that because it does cause issues it's not the first time i've had that issue with the figure um that was zip tied down uh, especially with the female um body styles because they're just uh they're, they're a little more lanky a little more loose a little more fragile now the um the new little shadow uh body sculpt is a is far more uh, improved than on, on well let me say this the new the new little shadow body style is definitely an improvement on the older body styles for the females so uh with that said those issues should be remedied with that all right now um back to the review she has a gang of pouches let's see uh you got the weapon you got the weapon sheath here one two three four five six seven seven ammo eight ammo pouches ah 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 and then right here you have <laughs> the pouch holding the the gas can canister or breathing harness thing whatever contraption it is and it has the nice holes this hose is really flexy going up to her um her face mask which is there and this is not a mask over um a, a removable mask this is actually sculpted on which is fine with me because i get the idea of what it is it kind of taps into their um war de plume um the de plume uh uh line and though this this whole idea has been used on, a, on some of their tks as well so it's cool to see it come across on a tq so yeah i dig that we'll come back to the head sculpt in a minute um as always, clothing is optional. All clothing does come off. It is removable. She has some nice Huma Jumas nipples, nipples. The t-shirt material is really decent. I like the way it's, it's, it's rough, man. It's, it kind of reminds me of a Calvin Klein ad or something like that. So that's, that's pretty cool if you want to get nasty and lift it up. You can do that. We're not doing all that right now. Um, and then look at the face sculpt. Look at that face sculpt. Yeah. I dig that. It kind of gives me a steampunk feel. I really, I really dig that face sculpt uh, or that mask sculpt. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty decent, pretty dope. And then you can, of course, take uh, the gas canister out of her uh, bag there. And there you go. As a matter of fact, you can unplug it from the figure. And she stands fairly decent to be on heels. And there you have the uh, little gas canister deal there. So, and it's got a fair bit of weathering on its on on itself as well. So, uh, on itself, it's got a fair bit of weathering as well. So, yeah. So this is uh, the uh, Remy Hoaxer TQ. I really dig her. I really like her. I am a TQ TK pop bot Ashley Wood uh, 3A fanatic. I love this shit, man. Hey, shout out to Andy Angie again for hooking me up with this and, and basically hooking me up with most of my 3A figures here recently because I typically go through him. Um, check out the 3A Legion group online on facebook hey man oh also check out kid robot that's another site you can go to to get more 3a um information as well as just the uh vinyl uh toys the designer toy game uh, if you want to follow that also go to uh world of 3a which is ashley wood's actual 3a site there you will find a good number of uh, their figures, uh, they actually have a, a, a lookbook there where you can see all the artwork, all the photography of all their figures. If you want to just get into the idea of 3A and what it's all about, check that out. You can also check, check out Crystal's work there. She is a 3A toy designer as well. She's awesome. She's got some pretty dope stuff coming out, Pumpkin Spice and all of that good stuff. So yeah, man. Yeah, 3A, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's art. Until next time, I am your host, Brave. This is Brave's Toy Review. Hey, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe, man, because I got these reviews coming out all the time, and I'm one of the best to do it, one of the most entertaining. Yes, I said it because I am 
watch the review and enjoy it. Don't just watch the review and go sleep on it. Hey, having said that, I'm out of here.